Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Sephora haul. This is stuff that I've accumulated over the past couple of months and I just didn't use it all, which is not easy, first of all, um, because I wanted to use uh, show it in a haul and then my next video is going to be me applying as much of it as I can onto my face and then I'll do a follow-up to tell you guys what works and what doesn't, just in case the first impressions isn't, what, educational enough? But yeah, so if you guys want to see what I got in my Sephora haul, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing is something that I've wanted for a while, but I never splurged on just because it is so expensive and then I, I don't know, I feel kind of like dumb getting it because, uh, let me just tell you guys what it is. So it, this is the Kupari Coconut Melt and this thing is like 60 bucks Canadian and I just always feel bad about wanting to purchase this because it is just coconut oil. It's a very well thought out, like well formulated, I guess, very natural coconut oil, like it's supposed to be really, really nice. It's silicone free, sulfate free, something else I can't read, free, cruelty free, like it's paraben free, like everything. So I finally just, you know, wanted to kind of spoil myself, well, my husband got it for me and I was so excited because there's so many things you can do with this. You can use it as a hair mask, as a foot mask, as an all-over moisturizer, as a face ma mask, as a face moisturizer, as a cuticle cream. It, did I already say hair mask? Hair mask, foot mask, like you can do so much with it. So I finally got it. This is the big version. It's glass and I don't know. Would you guys buy a $60 well-refined... Oh, I just got some on my face. Would you guys buy a $60 like well-refined coconut oil? Let me know. But I'm really excited to try this out. Okay, so the next thing is also from Kopari. And it's another like indulgent product. Uh, because their shit ain't cheap. But this is the Kopari Coconut Body Oil. And I'm like one of those very lazy people. I hate getting out of the shower and having to pump out lotion and like spray it all over myself. I'm way too lazy for that. So the fact that you can just take this, get out of the shower and just like spray it. I love that. And like it just gives you the most beautiful sheen. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can. But yeah, it just, oh my god. That's the first time I ever used it and it smells amazing. So could you just imagine spraying this all over and smelling so nice and being all glowy? Oh, I love that. Okay, so the next product is also like a body product. I never shell out money for body products. I always stick with drugstore, but this is the first time I've actually like spent a lot of money on body products and I'm not sure yet how I feel about it but the next product is from Herbivore and this is the Coco Rose Coconut Oil Body Polish. Now why I was interested in getting this is because in the description they say that this is very exfoliating but it's also very moisturizing. I usually use the Lush sea salt or ocean salt um, exfoliant but that one leaves me really dry after it doesn't leave behind any moisture and this one since it is a coconut oil it once you wash it off it's supposed to just leave you very very moisturized to the point where you don't need to apply anything else you don't need to go in with lotion so I thought that was so awesome because like I said I'm lazy and oh my god, it smells so good. I haven't used it yet. I've been waiting for this video, but I will use it tonight. Okay, so the next product is a hair product, uh, and then one more, and then we'll get into some makeup. But this is the Living Proof Dr Perfect Hair Day in Shower Styler. Now, I don't. if you guys watch my videos, you'll have seen that I chopped off my hair. It's like 
up to here now. It used to be very long. It was a little traumatizing because I've never really gone this short. But now that I have gone short, I kind of want to invest in my hair a little bit more. I didn't really used to do much to it when it was long because I just didn't know what to do. But I love the fact that I get to, you know, like style a lob and do like wavy sea swept hair type of deal. But so I got this because this is very interesting. It's an in shower styler. So you use your shampoo and conditioner and then you put this from your roots to your ends and then you let it sit but then you wash it out. You don't wash it all out. You have to leave a little bit in your hair, but you wash some of it out and then you come out, you towel dry your hair, scrunch it, do whatever you want, and it's supposed to style your hair so that if you don't wanna use heat, you don't have to, which, ugh, lazy girl ideas again. Like, if I don't have to blow dry and straighten or curl my hair, I am, a happy happy human being so I want to see how this works to see like does it actually style my hair for me it says it's enhancing in intent seriously seriously it enhances texture and shine for air dried styles so how cool is that so excited to use this okay getting into some makeup uh, I saw this product on a lot of the beauty gurus I watch, their 2017 favorites. Even though this is pretty freaking new, it came out at the end of the year. But it was in so many favorites, so I really wanted to try it. And that's the um, Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pots. And I have the color Park Avenue Princess. And this is just a very very pigmented glittery cream shadow I mean I can't believe the pigment on these things so this is what they look like they're in like a little jar like this and yeah I have Park Avenue Princess and it's just like a really pretty bronze but and they feel so soft and like you guys look at that pigment I mean can you freaking believe this like this on the eyes it's going to look so good. I'm definitely going to be using this in my follow-up video, so stay tuned for that. But, oh my god, if I like it, I'm definitely going to get more colors in the, in the future. I definitely can't spend any more money anytime soon. So, one of my favorite brands right now is Nude Sticks. I really love their stuff i love how it's so like convenient and travel ready everything is pencils like everything they have are pencils and a formula i haven't tried out yet was their lip stains these are matte lip stains so they go on very pigmented and matte but as they wear off they stain your lips in a really pretty flattering way whereas other you guys know like liquid lipsticks and stuff once they start fading they'll crumble they'll leave that nasty like oh in your like in between your oh i hate that feeling so i was really intrigued by this and i got the color pulse which is no not pulse saint which is such a pretty like pinky nude. It's so pretty and I have used this because I just couldn't help myself and it really does do what it says. So it goes on like this and it stays for a while and it's not, it's not completely transfer proof but it stays on for a good while through eating and drinking. But as it wears off, it does just leave a really pretty soft pink stain. So, oh, I love that. And the other thing I got, um, one of my favorite formulas from them is their Magnetic Matte Eye Pencils. I use them as a base or just by themselves. They have so many colors, so I wanted to add to my collection. I have like two, I think, so far. So I got the color taupe because I have mainly all like warm toned pencils because that's usually what I go for. But I wanted something that was a little bit more cool toned just to change it 
change it up. Why can't I talk today? Why can't I talk? But yeah, just to change it up a little bit. So I thought I would try like a more cool toned color. These are so creamy, so pigmented. But once they're on, they're locked on. They're not going anywhere. So you could use them as a base or by themselves. And they're just such an easy product, which is what I love. Can I, sh shall we say it together? Perfect product for lazy people. Okay, moving right along, I got two of the new Laura Mercier uh, Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks. The packaging is so nice and slim. These are like the pencil. Okay, yeah. So these are like the, they look just like their eye pencils. And I got the colors uh, Fresh and Fierce. So this one is fresh. Can you guys see a theme and like what kind of lipstick colors I love? I love these like dark pinky nudes and the other color is fierce. And this is like a more brownie nude. So that's that one. This is like the more brownie nude and then that's the more pinky nude. And I have tried the pink one and I love it. It wore so beautifully throughout the day and it's just so easy. Like you just throw it on, you don't have to think about it and it lasts. It actually lasts and it does not dry out your lips. I have chronically dry lips and I was completely comfortable wearing this for a good eight hours with, it was just, it's a, it's a good product. What else can I say, it's a good product. Okay, so I bought two complexion products. This first one, I've been hearing a lot about it. All the big YouTubers have either talked about it or reviewed it on their channels. So I got it because I am a follower. And this is the new NARS foundation, the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I haven't put it on yet or anything like that. I'm gonna do that in my next video. But just for reference, I got the color Medium 3 Stromboli. And I don't have much to say about this right now just because I haven't used it. But it sounds like a foundation that's just really down my lane. I look for radiant... I don't like matte foundations on my skin. I like radiant foundations. And this one is supposed to be radiant and long wearing, which sounds perfect to me. The packaging is beautiful. There's a pump. I did uh, briefly swatch the color and I think it's going to match me. So that's the NARS foundation. And then another thing, I haven't heard too much about this, but I have seen a lot of videos comparing it to Tarte Shake Tape. And that's the new Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. Um, I got the color Medium Light Neutral. That's the color I am in their other concealer. So I just picked this one hoping that it would match. And it's like a little mini me of their foundation. It's so cute. It's supposed to be really full coverage, yet hydrating. Um, a lot of people compare it to the Tarte Shape Tape. So I want to test it out and see where my opinion falls on this product. Okay, so the last product is pretty new and it's just, it's very, very, very expensive. It's, it's very expensive. It's the Hourglass Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick. This thing, I got the color Champagne Flash. This is $52 for a highlight, which is ridiculous. I know, I know. But, oh my god, I've seen so many people use it on camera, like Tati, and just, oh, it looks so beautiful, and I just had to try it out, because highlights are one of my favorite, like, face products. I love applying highlight, and cream, cream highlight is my favorite. Favorite. I just think there's nothing like it. There's nothing that meshes more in with your skin and looks completely natural. So this is the packaging. It's just like their Vanish foundation. And this is what it looks like. I haven't swatched it or anything yet, but ooh, that's creamy. That's what it looks like. Can you imagine that on your face? Let me blend it out a little bit. It just looks like a true sheen 
there's no like noticeable glitter or anything it just looks like something that when you turn your head it's just gonna hit the light perfectly it's beautiful I cannot wait to use it in my next video but yeah you guys that is all the stuff I got at Sephora I hope you guys really really enjoyed this video and I hope that you look forward to the one coming next of me applying all this stuff onto my face so I will see all of you guys in the next one. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that, I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye.